In fact, I've thought of this hope, H-O-P-E, have optimistic, positive experiences. That's the choice that we can make when we're going through our lives. Now, each day, I would go on a prayer walk. Every morning, I walked for a long time. It started out each chemo, six houses up the street was about all I could go. And I would pray and make the choice every day to be cheerful. At one point in this process, I was at church conducting Relief Society, and I had on this fabulous cream hat. I was so stylish, okay? I'm just saying, <laughs> styling, baby, in this beautiful cream hat. And a less active sister who was visiting that day came up to me after the meeting and said, Sister, I want to see under your hat. I said, there's nothing under my hat. <laughs> she says, no, I want to see your hair under your hat. I said, I don't have any hair under my hat. She says, I want to see, I want to see. Now, lucky for her, there were women in the room. Because if the room had been empty, I would have whipped it off and given her the shock of her life. <laughs> but instead, I tilted it up, and she looked and gasped. Oh, sister, you are bald as a baby's bottom. <laughs> I said, yes, I am. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And she said, sister, how can you be sick and bald and be happy? And I said to her, it's just hair. It'll grow back. Every day I am faced with a choice. I can choose to be miserable and sad and scared, or I can choose to be cheerful and positive and hopeful. I choose to be 